Right, okay, so we're doing pretty well. Um, what do we need to do? We just need to um, add the jet animation and make it so the ship actually explodes if it hits the bottom, the top, or hits the mines. And, um, okay, so let's just start with the jet. And rather than it being an image, it's going to be a sprite. So there's a bit of typing here, um, but it'll be all right. A lot of it's just exactly the same. Uh, okay, and like sprites, one of those things I found the first time I did it, it was a pain, and I was like, what's going on? But it should be cool. Um, I think we're going to be fine. So, um, when you're working with sprites, here we've got jet. So if I just open this up in preview, what we've actually got in this graphic is it's four frames, so it's hard to tell the difference, but the jet contrail is actually different in all of them. So what we're going to be doing is it's going to like... We're going to be playing, it's going to show this one, then this one, then this one, and this one, and then loop back and show that in a quick succession over and over and over again. Similar thing in our explosion, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different frames of it, and it's just going to play through the cycle before we go to the restart screen. And there are our two sprites. So, code wise, all we've got to do is um, rather than load this as an image, we're going to change this so it says jet. I'm going to name the variable jet sprite sheet and it's going to be sprite dot new sprite sheet here so we're going to say sprite we may need to require sprites as well from memory I've got a feeling maybe not just like we required um, storyboard in the physics engine okay so here we're going to go back to client jet png and we also need to specify the sizes of our um of the image. So, what I was talking about before, um, hang on, let's just look at that image again. Okay, each of these frames that we want to show, we want to show 50 pixels across per like time we show it, and 17 high. So, this graphic is like 17 pixels high, and it's 200 long, I think. So, we're saying show 50, so it's going to start here, then hop to showing a frame around here, hop to showing a frame, hop, show, hop to showing this frame, and they're all 50 like wide, basically. Uh, okay, um, so that's that, and then, um, yeah, there's, there's a bit of typing here. So then I'm going to create another variable called jet sprites, and this is going to be equal to sprite, new sprite, but it's a little bit different. I'm just going to copy this, though, save a bit of time. It's going to be not a new sprite sheet, but a new sprite set. Okay, so new sprite set, and here we feed in this variable, so we say we're gonna it's gonna use the jet we don't need double quotes here. Jet sprite sheet and we wanna start on the first frame. Like basically we're saying it's gonna have four frames, okay? So and again there was four images, each of them are fifty pixels wide and seventeen pixels high. Okay, um and then we wanna say the timing of it. So we're gonna say sprite dot add. Uh we wanna add the jet sprites, that variable from above, which contains the jet sprite sheet. Um, there's a few things here. Uh, we'll just give it a name, we'll just call it jet. Doesn't really, you can call it something else, we're not going to use that value. 1 to 4, and then 1000, meaning show each of them for um, 1 second, like 1000 milliseconds, and 0 means just keep repeating it, don't show it indefinitely. You could say 5, and it would show it 5 times over. Okay, um, finally, we need to create a variable called jet, uh, which is going to contain the, um, the actual sprite itself. So we do that when we say new sprite. So, I mean, when you use sprites, you end up just creating a lot of variables. Um, okay, well, not too many, it's three instead of one. Okay, um, right under here, we need to do a little bit of stuff. So we say jet prepare um, jets so we actually sorry we do use that name we wrote here so so prepare jets and then let's just say jet play open close round brackets all right let's see if we get something um, not a great start we don't see anything let's see um, line 68 go to the scene attempt to index the sprite Line 68 seems to be the culprit. Um, PNG. Oh yeah. Um, so 
like I mentioned, we need to um, say require sprite. Here I'm not putting it in a variable. There's two ways to do a require, so you can do it that way, just require it. Here I've created an actual variable and then you use that name, but we can just use the name sprite there. Let's see if this works. There, yeah, great. Okay, we can, yeah, it's got, it's, I mean, it's hard to see. Probably even harder on YouTube, but um, it's bubbling away. You can see it's kind of moving. Great, so let's quickly, um, do we have time for, yeah, let's do it. Okay, um, we're going to, sorry for the random scrolling. What we want to do now is add the explosions. So I'm going to copy the jet stuff, which is up here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to copy this whole thing and then paste it underneath and this is going to be the explosion sprite sheet. So everywhere it says jet here I'm just going to change it to explosion more or less. Uh, it's a different size so it's 24 and 23 high. It's a different shape. It's got, it's got, we want to play it through frames 1 to 8. Um, we will do it a bit slow, we'll make it like 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. We want to play it through frames 1 to 8. Uh, we only want to play the explosion one time, there's no point having it twice. And, okay, so let's keep changing these jet things to explosion. That's that whole thing. So you just obviously be careful with your copy-paste. Um, just want to make sure you get everything. Okay, paste that. Paste that. That. I'm sure one of these will be wrong, but anyway. Okay, explosions, explosions. We don't need to add this to the physics body. I can, I'm going to leave it there, whatever. I'm just commenting it out so it won't be read. And then insert the explosion. Now, it should be there. Well, let's just have a look. So, we should, when this first starts, we should just see an explosion play once, which is not what we want, but at least we know it's there. And we can change it. There we go, there's our explosion. Great. So, uh, we just need to change it in the next video so it appears at where the jet is. And we want to pause, actually, too, like, because at the moment... Um, it just sort of goes this, we want it to pause so it actually plays the explosion. We have time to see it, basically. So that's what we'll do in the next video, and hopefully the next video might even be the last one. I doubt it, but it might be.